This is a review of the Teton XXL cot. I've uh, now slept on this cot for probably between 12 to 14 nights testing it out. What is going on guys? Adam Katz for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel, the channel where we explore and review the camping gear that you need to be self-contained, self-reliant, and most of all comfortable camping in the outdoors without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on an expensive RV or travel trailer. So first off, as a potential negative, and let me say this thing does come with the bag here, uh, this thing weighs a ton. I mean, it's 26 pounds, but it feels like it's probably 30 to 35 pounds. I swear, it feels as heavy as my Gazelle T4 tent, and that's a heavy tent. So that may be a negative. Uh, you have to decide for yourself. The overall dimensions are 85 by 19 by 40 inches, and that's actually a positive. Although I must say that this thing you're gonna see in a minute, this thing is absolutely massive. Now, I'd only set this thing up at this point twice before, once when I got it home, when I took it out of the box, and then the second time when I actually used it, I set it up and it stayed in my tent for, I can't remember, 12 to 14 days that I slept on it. And um, it, it's a little bit tricky to remember exactly which way the legs fold out, but I, I mean, it's really not a big deal. When I first bought, my first camping cot, the Buyer of Maine Easy Cot, part of the reason I bought it was because I was a little bit intimidated that maybe it'd be too difficult to put this this type of cot together. Well, it, it's really not. And um, here you can see I'm showing you the, the tag that says don't sit on the end of the uh, of the cot because it'll bend because they're aluminum. Um, one of the tricks I found, and I'll, I'll show you in just a minute here, um, after you've slid the, the ends in, um, what works really well is if you take a mallet, uh, just for the leverage, not to smack it or anything, but just, I mean, you can use anything, any type of large stick or something, baseball bat, I guess, uh, just to create a little bit of leverage because it gets very tight. And they do have like a, a little red uh, piece of metal that's supposed to help you uh, make it easier to put the ends in, but I didn't find that to be very useful. Um, once you use a, a mallet or something to give you leverage, it's really pretty easy to, to put together. Now I am six foot one, about 180 to 185 pounds, depending on whether or not I've had breakfast. And you can see it fits me fine and there's plenty of room on both sides. So you don't feel like you're gonna roll off the thing in the middle of the night. Here's a couple of bar stools just to show you a comparison as to how wide the thing is, it's amazing. I was very hesitant about getting this cot because one of the problems that I had with the some of the other cots I've tried is that there's a lot of sag. And when I saw this cot, this this Teton XXL cot set up in the store, uh, people had like obviously been standing on it because there were boot prints and stuff. And there was quite a bit of sag. And I thought, well, it's not like the Coleman cot with the springs, which you can watch in one of my other reviews, where it's constantly taut. There's a little bit of give. This one, there's actually, you know, like most camping cots, it does have a little bit of a sag. And I thought that could be a problem, you know, it could cause back pain. Um, so that, that number one, it, it didn't end up being an issue for me. There is a sag, but it didn't end up causing back pain like so many of the other cots I had tried did. So that's a positive. Uh, the other positive is that this thing is so wide and that's really a great thing in terms of making it really comfortable. And remember, you know, this is a camping is a recreational activity. If you're roughing it and if you're not getting a good night's sleep, then, you know, you're not doing it right. You need to enjoy your time in the outdoors. And part of that means being able to get a really good night's sleep and how this this Teton XXL cot. And again, there's, there's other size Teton cots. I do recommend this one for this very reason. It's so wide that you don't feel like you're going to constantly roll off it. And that was really one of the problems that I had, aside from the back pain with the other cots that I tried, was even though you're asleep, there's something in, in the back of your mind, in your subconscious, that's constantly saying, oh, I got to be careful that I don't turn over on my side and roll off it. You don't have that experience with this cot. And that's one of the reasons that makes it so great. I don't think I'll ever buy a narrow cot again. I, I think it's only going to be cots this size for me going forward. However, that size, something you should be aware of is that this thing is so huge. And you can, there's another guy on YouTube uh, with a Jeep who thought he was going to 
put the cot in the back of his Jeep. And when he got it, he was like astounded how big this thing was. And, and that is an issue. You know, I, I was able to fit this inside my Gazelle T4 tent, but that is a larger sized four person tent. And even at that, uh, it was a tight fit. I had to basically set up the cot outside of the tent and then get it inside the tent or, or disassemble it and, and open it up inside. It was just a hassle. So, um, so that could be an issue for you. For example, this cot will not fit inside my Kelty Grand Mesa four person tent. It's too small. So I actually, because of this cot, I'm actively looking for a larger tent, a tent that can you know fit the cot and give me enough room to have a little space, maybe put a chair. Uh, th this cot is absolutely massive. And like I said, it's heavy. If I could find another cot that was just as wide, and wasn't as heavy, uh, I'd probably go for that, to be honest. But, you know, I've got this one now and, and I really, really do like it. One other thing to consider is that when I first got it, you know, you just it just comes with the, the cot. It doesn't come with a pad. And so I had to use my Milliard three panel um, mattress, so to speak. Uh, I did another review video on that one and I put it on top. And number one, I, I never found that Milliard mattress to be very comfortable. But number two, it's not nearly as wide as the cot itself. So you've got maybe like two and a half, three inches on each side of that, that cot mattress. And so you're in the same position as if you were using a narrower cot because you feel like you're going to fall off the edge of the mattress and there isn't like, you know, it just didn't work. So what I did was I went out and I got the the Teton XXL cot mattress that that is designed specifically to work with this cot. And I'm going to review that in a separate video, but needless to say, works really well. And the beautiful thing about that cot mattress is that it fits the width of this cot perfectly. They just, so, you, so you've got all that space so you can roll over on your side and not have to worry about falling off the edge of the cot. So the whole system really works really pretty well. Now, is it as comfortable as sleeping in my bed at home? No, it's not. But I was successfully able to get uh, several good nights sleep sleeping on this this cot. Like I said, I, I, I probably slept on it about 12, 14 separate nights and uh, and, and really, really enjoyed it. It just it, it took away that whole, oh, God, I'm going to have a, a rough night sleeping on a, a camping cot feeling you know it was like okay this is good combined with a good sleeping bag made for a very comfortable night's sleep so if you have a big enough tent or if you're using it inside a large van or maybe you're just using it inside your house if you have guests come over uh, definitely gets two thumbs up highly recommend it hey i'm adam katz for the hardcore camping gear channel you can check out hardcorecampinggear.com for links to most of the gear that we review and other stuff that I've used over the years that I really like. So feel free to check that out. Also, if you can do me a favor and so that you'll be the first to know when we come out with a new video, please be sure to subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification bell. I guess that notification bell after you hit subscribe, there's a little bell and that will let YouTube and the algorithm know to show you the videos when they come out. Hey, I appreciate you sitting through this video and hope that if you do get the Teton XXL camping cot, that it works as well for you as it has worked for me. And have a good one, guys.